What's up YouTube, this is Prince of ATP 101 and I want to make a quick video trying to explain this whole new jailbreak that's going to be released anytime now from Coolstar which is the Electra beta, the full version that he said he's going to release anytime now. So he's been tweeting and I just want to kind of break down what he's saying to you guys if you guys don't understand. If you guys follow him and don't kind of understand, I'm just going to try to break it down for you guys and it's some good news and some bad news so let's go to his tweets so let's go right here let's go to this one he said Electra beta users make sure you aren't making too many modifications outside of bootstrap so you could go into bootstrap that's where you install your themes and your tweaks so I I just been sticking to themes and tweaks so I haven't really been modifying too much I have modified a couple of strings like on the lock screen so I'm gonna have to change that and he goes on all to Panga and Electra RC users will need to restore right now if you want to take a clean Apple file system snapshot so they can use semi restore later when 11.2.6 baseband no longer works okay so what he's saying is don't modify your phone too much because you're gonna need to basically take all those off and then have have a clean phone to use the new jailbreak that he's gonna release and if you use the Topanga jailbreak and the Electra RC jailbreak that was leaked then you wanna do a full restore using semi restore not your regular iTunes restore semi restore or future restore semi restore isn't out yet but future restore right now future restore so yeah and if you use the Topanga remove feature within the Topanga app, I, you should be good. I use that and I think I'll be fine. I mean, because I remove all the systems supposedly with that. I have a video at the end of this video showing you guys how to do that. But if you use the Topanga remove feature within the Topanga app that I showed you in the video, you should be good. I asked him on Twitter, but he didn't respond. So I'm not sure. But I think I'm good. So if you use the Electra RC1 that was leaked then you might be in some trouble because whenever the new jailbreak is released you can say semi restore will work much like time machine on mac os prior to jailbreak electra final this is the final build i'm just reading his tweet verbatim electra final will uninstall liberty os and electra beta so if you use the liberty os jailbreak and electra betas that i have on my phone right now you should be good because in the final bill will remove all those and if the file system is clean take and snapshot off that file system so remove all the tweaks remove all the themes any modification you made remove all those and when the new Electra is released it's gonna remove the Liberty OS and also the beta that you have on your phone the Electra beta and if the file system is clean it's gonna take a snapshot so you could use that with semi restore whenever it's released so that's basically what he's saying right there and he said I recommend future restore to 11.1.x as in 11.1.2 right now so you can have a clean device to take advantage of the Apple file system snapshot once Electra final is released final releases basically revert to snapshot and go back to stock so basically he wants everybody or whoever can just basically clean up their phone take all all the tweaks and all that kind of stuff and then whenever the final build of Electra is released it's gonna take a snapshot if it's a clean file system it's gonna take a snapshot of that so you could use semi restore in the future I mean so semi restore future restore but yeah so just read his tweets and I'm trying to break it down as simple as possible but basically what I'm saying is if you're on 11.0 to 11.1.2 you're fine if you haven't jailbroken you're definitely good if you haven't touched that if you're on those firmwares any one of those firmwares and you haven't jailbroken at all you've been waiting for a solid jailbreak you're you're clean you're good I mean you're fine but if you have been jailbroken with Topanga, you might be in some problems. Or use that leaked version of RC 1.x, you might be in some problems. But I removed my Topanga with the 
remove feature in the Topanga app, so I think I'll be good. So all, all I'm going to do now is go into Files and basically remove all the tweaks that I have. Just remove all the tweaks, just go into SB Inject, Bootstrap, blah, 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 Library. SB inject. I almost said SB settings. Comment below if you remember SB settings. Real old school jailbreakers. Remember that top of the line tweak from back in the day. But yeah, I could remove all my themes right in here. All my tweaks in SB inject. You'll see cylinder and all that. Preference loader. I could remove all those. And I should be fine. So yeah, that's all I wanted to talk to you guys about. Let's go back to Twitter. Let's go to his page and see what he's talking about. So there's the tweets right here. Let's see if he tweeted out anything new. No. And this is why people shouldn't install leaked IPAs. So basically, he doesn't even. If you use those leaked IPAs, he doesn't care about you guys. He doesn't care, and that that that's fine. Because he wants he he wanted to release those to developers only and somebody leaked it and if you install it he doesn't care it is what it is and that's cool because he's just doing this for fun i think the fun is out of it now he just want to finish it and be done with it after this jailbreak he won't make another jailbreak but yeah you could go go through right here and he said for those without blobs and have modified file system installed on topanga leak rc let's see what he says go further and they're basically he's just making fun of you guys. Brace yourself. Let the survival mode begin. So if you don't have blobs and you've been messing with your system, it's it's a whole it's it's a it's a mess. So if you guys if you guys follow my what I just said in the beginning, you should be good. Hopefully it all works out. It's Prince with ATP one oh one. He will release it anytime now and I'll make a video about it. And links to this wallpaper is on my Twitter. Links below. Deuces. One quick update guys, I already finished this video, I actually uploaded the video and I was getting questions about this that I didn't really explain in the full video but you don't have to do all this, you don't have to remove all your tweaks and themes for you to get the jailbreak, that's just if you want to use semi restore whenever it's, re whenever it's available. So it's going to get a clean snapshot and then you could use future restore to restore back to 11.1.2 which you can't do with regular iTunes but if you don't care about future restore and all of that you should be fine the main thing is to remove the Topanga and all the RC1 leaked versions but if you have tweaks and all that stuff that you re that you use the betas to install you should be fine you don't have to remove everything and do all that because you will still get the jailbreak but you just won't get a snapchat a snapshot of your whole apple file system so yeah that's about it